basically your job is to like designate as much as your job out as possible so for me I know that's kind of where I'm headed like the creativity is like my thing and Mm. all the other things like the admin that is just not my jam like I will do anything to avoid opening an excel spreadsheet (laughs) (laughs) it's so true it's funny I so I recorded a podcast yesterday um about the difference between thousand dollar tasks and ten dollar tasks so basically the idea is like you add value here like to a certain number of things that you have to do that you're the skill you're the genius Mm -hmm. that's the stuff that's going to grow your business and then there's all this other stuff like like the excel spreadsheet like the admin Mm -hmm. like the bookkeeping like even editing this podcast, I, I'm like, obviously I, I'm the one that needs to interview, but I don't really need to edit it. I don't mm. add any value there. Big love to Dan, my editor. Cause I've said this twice now. I'm like, you're amazing, Dan. I'm not, I'm not being awful here, but like <laughs> other people can do those jobs. Um, mm-hmm. So I like, they're called $10 tasks. So it's like anything that you don't need to do, mm-hmm. put that on a list, document them out, create a process and get them outsourced. So that way you can like free up your time and you can actually scale the business. Cause you're not doing all of the things that you, mm-hmm. really, you really don't add value to anyway. Totally. That's definitely my next step in business. Um, yeah, I mean, I've started outsourcing a little bit, but that you can just see like, that's the way to grow. And again, that's a risk as well, because you're like forking out money, but that's just, I mean, that's what you want to do it to grow. Yeah. And I always say like, um, cause when I first started my business, like a decade ago, I thought you had to just hire full-time people. Like, I, I don't think we talked about VAs as much back then, Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, no, like just literally like once you get one task and you've got a process around it and you can hand it over, get a VA to just do that one thing. So you're spending Mm -hmm. like, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks a month for them to do that thing. And it like just gives you a taste of Mm -hmm. getting something off your plate. And then you can slowly kind of ramp it up as you can afford it. And as that time that you've freed up helps you get more business, you can kind of offload more. So I like that today we can do it in a more like easier Staggered smaller, way sustainable way yeah, yeah. exactly because exactly it's not like that. I have to you have to bring on a full-time member and stop paying yourself anymore yeah oh my god that would be a nightmare been yeah. there <laughs> <laughs> oh my god don't make the same mistake I did <laughs> oh that's hilarious what do you think has been the biggest challenge for you since starting your business oh there have been all of them a lot of <laughs> challenges I mean I think It's the being a mom with Mm. two small kids and the challenge of like, you know, you tell yourself you're doing this for them. I mean, I'm not really doing it for them. I am doing it for them. Like, so I can stay at home more. I am doing it for myself. So, but you have to be honest, like I'm doing it for myself, but I'm also doing it for them so that I don't have to, like, I don't, I work three days a week at the moment. Um, so I can spend a little bit more time with them. Um, but it's just then I'm working at night and it's just the work-life balance. And I just feel like, you know, I've got sick more than I should have. Mm. Um, my health has definitely taken a hit. And I've just kind of had this epiphany the other day, like there's no opportunity as important as your health. Mm. Um, so, I mean, just having the boundaries for yourself to say no. And at the moment I have a wait list and like when inquiries come through, I genuinely want to work with these amazing business owners. Like, but I have to choose between them and me. And it sounds so hard, but like in the past, I'd want to be saying yes, because I want to help them. Also, it like lights me up creative, like creatively. Um, But I've had to say no. And I've had to work on ways that I can work with them without leveraging my time um so at the moment I'm doing like a a DIY kind of plug and play copy course so that I can um be like you can't work with me in this way but you can work with me in that way so I would say like boundaries around time um and I mean systems are always really hard for me as a creative person that's been difficult um yeah I mean (laughs) That's I enough. Feel like I, should, I, I feel like I I feel like I should have more. I no, mean business. That's I mean that's system. huge, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like so huge. And I mean, I mean, even the business model challenge of being a service provider where you are the one that needs to do the work, you're so right. Like 
we, I think it's nice sometimes we say to ourselves, I'm just going to take on all the clients and I'm going to make all the money and I can do it. And I can just, I'm just going to go, go, go till I've hit this goal. And then it's like, yeah, you're like, well, no, I'm fucking tired. I haven't hung out with mm-hmm. my family. I haven't hung out with my friends. I haven't done this. I haven't done that. I'm sick. Like, yeah, <laughs> it actually becomes not worth it. No, I know. And I had like, this was my biggest month. I mean, I'm only like, you know, working by myself, but like two months ago, I had a 15K month. And at the end of it, I was like, I'm never, ever doing that again. Like that is not, there's like, no, absolutely not. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just not worth it. Like, yes, you can say yes to everything and then have no life. Like, what are we in business for? 